Hey there, okay, here's another one. And this one's called the bearish falling free methods. And it's a continuation pattern. Okay, and this one consists of five candles. Alright, and the way it looks is basically like this. You're coming in from like a high, you know, from an uptrend, and it's coming down. So let's just do these a different color. So we're in a downtrend. Okay, and then you'll see like a candle that will be it's got to be a reasonably large candle all right and then you're going to see three more okay and these three more will basically sit inside the real body area you know okay and then you'll have like another candle like so. Now also take notice of where these line up. So there's your low and there's the close. They actually fall lower um, than the, the low of here. Okay. Alright, so that's what it looks like. So they, they're pretty hard to spot actually. So what I've done is um, I'm going to show you you know, on a different colored chart this time. All right, and see if we can actually find some for you. Now, they've, they're quite hard to find. Um, I mean, we get some that look similar to the actual pattern that we're looking for. And essentially what it is, is just to really have, you know, your two down candles and then just have three little up candles inside so that's all we're really looking for but having also saying that it can be four candles inside it can be five candles inside as well as long as these candles that are inside are within the the open and the the close price not the high and the low but within the open and close price and then if they are and you see another huge red candle down you know that's a continuation pattern all right so let's Let's see if we can find at least one example. Um, let me pause the video for a moment because I don't want you getting bored of me watching trying to find uh, some of them. All right, so I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, well I've just spent the last 20 minutes trying to find a pattern on about four different currency pairs and I'm just finding it extremely difficult to find this continuation pattern. Um, when the, the bullish uh, pattern of this formation was easier to spot but I'm not really finding any on here at the moment but anyways just remember that pattern okay um, it does turn up from time to time I, I've actually seen it on a different currency pair but I can't remember what currency pair that it was that I was working on because I work on more than one currency pair at the time um, but it, it does work when you see them alright Okay, so um, I apologize about that video right there. I was really hoping to find a continuation pattern for that for that one. I see some that were pretty similar, um, but not something that I would really would want to go in on. Um, there was really no confirmations there at all. Um, so yeah, I mean, I really do apologize. I'm a little bit disappointed about that. I'm just hoping to see some more videos. Uh, some more examples in this video. All right, okay. Well, well not to worry. There are plenty more uh, candle patterns that we can go ahead and have a look at. So just go ahead. Just one more um, recap, okay? Is to make sure that when you see these, you're in a downwards trend. It's a continuation pattern. All right. So you're in a downwards trend. Okay. Then when you see a nice long down candle, you want to see three more candles but you want to see them to be up candles but they got to be within the body okay and then the next one needs to come down and close lower than th this candle here well preferably these three okay but it'd be better if he can actually close lower than all three of them and including the first day's candle as well and then you can once you see that happening you can immediately 
you know go in on the next bar uh, south or you can just you know relax and bring your stop losses down to break even take off half a lot or whatever okay or you can even add an extra lot to that position all right so see how you get on all right and I will see you very soon in the next video all right, bye for now